I'm Brick Road. Let us resume journey. <clears throat> okay. Uh, there's a giant doorway there, so that's probably where I'm going to go next. A lot of walking in this game. This game is about walking, I've decided. That save screen would have probably been a much better place to cut the video than just sitting on the ground at the pause screen, but eh, hindsight, you know how it is. I kind of would like a boss fight right about now, just to mix things up a little bit. But no, instead it looks like I'm going to go through a blue sand place. I keep forgetting that the game is not going to actually take control away from me, so I end up sitting at the beginning of every level staring at the screen for a few seconds waiting for something to happen. And I can't see where the, oh, the light's coming through holes in the roof. Okay. So I guess we're going to walk from hole to hole. Yeah, walk through the sandfall there. That's what you deserve, buddy. I'm having flashbacks to Metroid Prime now. Where's the next light? know where I need to go from here. Oh, looks like it's over here. I still have no idea what that actual little button does that makes the glyph pop up. It does not seem to have any gameplay benefit whatsoever. It's in this little tunnel. <laughs> Nothing! It was just a tunnel. Tunnel for the sake of being a tunnel. Well, let's, uh... I guess there's nothing on top of that little platform there. Can I go back and get on top of my little subway tunnel thing, maybe? I have no idea if there's, like, stuff in this game that's, like, hidden stuff that's worthwhile to look for, or what? I don't know if there's any reward to exploration besides, you know, exploration being its own reward. Which is true sometimes in some games. Usually in games that have something going for them outside of just walking a lot. I guess I should actually take a look inside these tunnels, though to make sure I don't miss my word of power. Nope, not in here. And not in there. And the motion control that spins the camera is screwing me up because I keep... There's my word of power. It's in here. How do I get in here? This direction. It is, it's screwing me up, because I have a tendency to, like, shift my weight a lot when I play games. Which means my controller's not always sitting in a exactly even configuration. Which, as you can expect, causes me great distress when I play games on the Wii. Thankfully for me, though, they don't really release a lot of good games for Wii, so I don't have that problem very often. Oh, is that another word of power over there? Are there two words of the power in this dungeon? Am I underwater now? They do look like kelp fronds poking up. So singing for those things didn't actually do anything, I don't think. Hello. I don't know why I'm flying all of a sudden. Maybe I am underwater. It would be awesome if this game had mermaids in it, I'm just saying. Oh no, those just help me to fly. So, uh... <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. It's Was that a dolphin? Well, let's go get this glowy thing over here, and, uh... Through the kelp forest, and there's my next word of power, which maybe... That was a bassoon or something, I guess? Okay, let's get out of the kelp forest, because 
quite frankly, the place was creeping me out. I, I really do. I love the imagery involved in this game. It's just I don't feel like I'm playing a game, you know? I feel like I'm just mildly interacting with my PlayStation and having a passive experience. You know a game was kind of like that too, that I played a while ago when it came out on Xbox? Was, uh, was Res. Res HD, they released that. And I didn't feel like I had a lot of control over the game. Like, it's a... It's a shooter game. It's a, uh, a rail shooter, but I didn't feel like I was doing a lot to control the game very much. And the first few levels of the game were just very passive, and you kind of just watch the game play. And then you get to the fifth level, and it's long and it's hard, and I kept dying, and I could not beat it. So I had this very passive, kind of just dulling experience game, and then right at the end had a boss I couldn't kill. I was like, that is the most jarring uh, contrast I think I've ever seen in a game where you just kind of lay back and let it flow over you for four levels, and then the last boss is extremely difficult. Ah, boss fight time! Oh my god, what's going on? It's a fire-breathing stone manta ray. Oh, goodness. <laughs> that scared the hell out of me. <sighs> so much for being a uh, passive experience happening <laughs> in this game. Woo, okay. Now my heart's like racing. You win this round, Journey. <laughs> Uh, at least I have a cold soda again to kind of take the edge off. I also had to bake some potatoes. That was my one chore for the day when my wife was leaving. Make sure you bake those potatoes! Don't play Nintendo all day! Silly woman, I'm not playing Nintendo, I'm playing PlayStation. Ha ha ha, she didn't know the difference. So yeah, I had to bake some potatoes. So my house kind of smells like potatoes now. What's that thing? Is that the same thing? The same snake worm creature? Is he racing me to these cards? No, he's just showing me where they are. Hey! Those were mine! Those are my cards, dickhead! Get back down here! What were you doing? Now how am I gonna get through that big window? Oh, that sucked! Okay, um... I guess I don't go up through the big window. I could have, I could have sang, and then those cards would lift me up through the window, and... Probably out of the level. Oh, uh, is he gonna shoot me? Crap, crap, crap! Wind cover! <laughs> and I got ragdolled. Get back up, homie, you're still in this. <laughs> I guess I better hide from the guy's searchlight. Okay. <laughs> now we're playing something like a video game. Finally! After what's it been, an hour with Journey? Now we're finally doing something game-like? Uh oh. It's a stealth mission. Metal Gear Journey over here. Hide behind this pillar. Okay. Um, I guess I gotta go through this giant archway, this break in the wall over here. So I guess the stone monsters are the bad guys. Nope, he's coming back. Get behind these blocks, dude. That's right, I'm on an infiltration mission now. I want to get back up to the surface. There's no monsters on the surface. Just cards and carpets and things. Hey, hello. Yeah, I'll take that. I have no idea what that does, but I'll take it. Is that a gargoyle? Is that a giant gargoyle up there? I think I'd come to life and, like, 
murder me here in this desert? There's sunlight up there. That's where I gotta get to. It is. It's a gargoyle. It's gonna come to life and stomp me to death. Maybe. Yeah, I'm sliding now, fool. Oh god. Go faster. Go faster. <laughs> they can't stand the light, I suppose. <laughs> that was actually fairly thrilling, to be honest. Not very challenging or goal oriented like, you know, a video game might be, but <laughs> a rather entertaining little sequence. Hey fool, do you see what I did to them stone monsters back there? They cannot step to the desert man. the Pac-Man ghost corpses bubbled up from underground, and their life force illuminated the sands above. And triumphant music played as the stars came out of the nighttime sky. One star shone brighter than all the rest. It was the hero in the red cloak. I guess that's how I was born. I came down from a star. I feel like I'm in the Cave of Wonders down here. Diamond in the Rough. I should have watched that movie the other day when my niece was in town. Ah. Kind of broke my heart. A six year old kid. I'm like, you ever seen Aladdin? She's like, no. I was like, oh my god. No, wait, no, the lights are going out. Oh, it's just going to the save screen. <laughs> Thought it was going to get all dramatic and tense again there for a second. I'm still not back to the surface. This is the uh, fantastic desert oil rig. Oh, I gotta go up that tower and out that hole, and that's where my mountain's gonna be. That's the plan. That's the uh, that's the master plan here, brother. Alrighty then. So we'll get up on one of these little platforms. We'll probably fly over the central tower and go up a big spiral staircase. I'm gonna go towards these lamps. Walking towards light seems to be a good idea in this game. So that's what I'm going to do. And we'll see what happens over here. It's another picture wall. Unlock the tower. Glorious! Tower access program downloading. Okay, now how do I get up to this platform up here? <laughs> 